ladies and gentlemen, this is the post fight recap number 90 segment of the Double RT Boxing Show. I am your host, Mr. A. Thank you for tuning in. And this is Rose Valentine's six round TKO of uh, Lordy's, was it Barbua? You know, uh, Rose, Queen Rose did what I thought she was going to do. Not as um, dominant as I thought it would be, but, but yet still controlled that very successfully. Now, she dropped Lordy's once at the very end of the fourth with just a straight right, straight right, and then again in the fifth round with a right hook. Now, you can see um, Lordy's, she had a brace on her knee, a soft brace on her knee. And so I don't know how bad her knee was, but it seemed like that, that knockdown in the fourth, the way her the way she fell, it looked like her knee kind of slight buckled and she never really had full plant of it after that. So I won't be surprised if that kind of has something to do with her corner stopping it. Now, Rose shots were just too strong for her. Those right hooks. You know, Rose did what she does and what we said she was going to do in the breakdown. She throws with her opponents. I said, this is the only reason I believe this can, Rose can be a challenge for Katie Taylor because this is a belt Katie Taylor needs. So hopefully a lot of Katie Taylor fans watch this. You know, so you get, because I'm not too sure if you fans know um, who Katie Taylor is going to have to fight for these belts. You just want her to get those belts. And I gotta say, Rose didn't look in the shape I thought she was gonna come in this fight. And you could kind of, you know, it opened my eyes up a little bit because I, I, before this fight, I thought Rose could really give Katie a run for her money. I still think she could give Katie a run for her money, much like uh, how Danny Garcia caught Amir Khan. She's her timing is good. I don't think she's as good as a boxer or you know a brawler or whatever you want to say, Katie does at some time, but obviously Katie's a good fighter, but Rose has good timing. I think that might cause problems for Katie, and she's a heavy hander with good timing. And in this fight, she, uh, Barbora Lordy's was trying to move around the ring, trying to, uh, you know, get uh, Rose to reset her feet so she could throw some jabs at her. But, um, Rose was timing her over because, uh, Lordy's was the taller fighter, and Bar um, Rose was just timing right over that jab, landing a right hook, throwing him with her, being first. And but you can see, uh, Babora landed a few jabs first. You know, she she because Rose kind of comes in, you know, bobbing and weaving, trying to look for that time. And you can see, even with a bad will, Lordy's Barboa movement was giving Rose a slight hiccup, you know? So it makes me wonder, the younger, fresher, more talented Katie, I don't think Katie would be able to fight Rose toe for toe. I'd be shocked if uh, Rose gets uh, handcuffed by Katie's speed. I think, I think she'd just throw with it and take the chance of, one, of taking one to land one. So I think Katie's gonna have to apply the, the game plan Barboa uh, did a uh, try to move around the ring, get her to reset her feet, and then attack. So you can see that blueprint gave Rose a little bit of problem, you know, C having constantly to reset her feet. She couldn't do her normally time, well timed hooks, but but overall, she she landed great overhand rights, hooks to the body, straight ahead jabs. She she walked Lordy's down. And she knocked her down twice in, in a six-round stoppage. So she's still the WBO lightweight female champion. Depending on what happens next Saturday with Katie and Victoria, this is a possible matchup because it seems like they're fast-tracking Katie to be undisputed. So we'll see. Like I said Rose did a fantabulous job. Did what she, did. she didn't look quite the shape I thought she was going to come in, and I'm used to her seeing. And the movement... And that's it. It was a sl 
a, a slight movement with someone with a bad will made her reset her feet and threw off her t uh, timing punches. So we'll see what Katie can do. But the overall recap, right here on the post-fight recap, number number 89 of the Double RT Boxing Show. I am your host, Mr. A. Rose Valentin, still the w WBO Females Lightweight Champion with a six-round stoppage of Lordy's Babua. Thank you for your time and support. Hope you subscribe.